Good evening and welcome back again to the Bosoni Piano Competition in Bolzano, Italy. In a few hours we will know the names of the three finalists who are about to enter the final stage with orchestra. We are very excited. But now it's my pleasure to introduce one more jury member, Til Janczukowicz, who is actually trained as a pianist but then became something completely different. Would you tell us a little bit about it? I started as a pianist when I was 18 years old. I became a good friend of Christian Zimmermann, one of the, one of the greatest pianists on earth. We became friends. I saw what he did, I saw what I did, and Christian told me, Till, you have to become a manager. He kind of helped me into management, and then I was running the European Office for Columbia Artist Management for 20 years and managed uh, Ivo Pogorelic, Seiji Ozawa, Arkady Volodos, and many other artists, young artists. I worked quite a lot also with uh, Lang Lang on some projects, with Hyundi Lee, so I had the pleasure to work with great artists for, yeah, I would say, more than 25 years now. Yeah, that's an impressive list, obviously. <laughs> um, so my question would be, when you're listening here as a jury member, do you listen like strictly to the music or do you have more like a holistic vision of the potential product it implies? I think as a jury we have to find out who of the candidates will have potential to make a career later. And I think what we are judging here is highly subjective because it's about the art. We cannot measure the art. So what is important to me is the, sp the stage presence, the spiritual presence, the taste, also the personality, and it is at the end forming a kind of holistic picture, as you said, because I think uh, everybody is listening according to his own criteria. So there was, for example, the uh, young people's jury. They came to a totally different result than the professional jury, and which is good. Mm -hmm. So which mm -hmm. shows there are all kinds of talent available. With the company you have founded, the streaming platform for classical music, Idajo, you sometimes phrase it as like Spotify for classical music, so I stick with that picture as well. Um, you have been collaborating with the World Federation of International Music Competitions for a couple of years now, and what makes you like why would you advise young artists to like, face the challenge of entering a music competition? I think a competition is always creating kind of momentum. That's very important because you and I are talking now in front of a camera. So we speak about music, we speak mm -hmm. about young artists, which is very important. Young artists do need a platform. Of course, there are great artists who never made a competition or great artists who made a career because they did not win a competition. But I think in general it's very good to have a goal. If you're a young artist, you are working day and night for years and you need a goal. Mm -hmm. And a competition gives such a goal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, your company, uh, Idajo, is not available in China yet in the form as it is like in the US and Europe, for example, but you are about to enter the Chinese market in some sense. Can you tell us about that a little bit? Yeah, Adagio is a streaming platform. What we have solved, audio streaming platform, number one, and we have solved is that we can really dispose any composer, any piece, any performance, and any performer mm -hmm. on the surface of an online platform. So if you search for a Beethoven sonata with a certain pianist, and there are 347 recordings, you mm -hmm. find it immediately. Um, that's what we are the market leader for worldwide. And uh, the second thing that we started last year is the Adagio Global Concert Hall, which is a mm -hmm. video live venue. And there we do have a partnership with NetEase Cloud Music in mm -hmm. China. And that is starting mid of September. And there will be concerts with artists like Yo-Yo Ma, Gil Shaham and others mm -hmm. who are performing in the Global Concert Hall. And this is a venue which makes any concert hall in the world available online. And we are very happy about this partnership. So my last question would be, um, those established streaming platforms, digital channels are not available to all like aspiring artists immediately. What of the like widely available digital channels there are, like also on social media, would you like recommend for use like where should somebody start is it does it make sense to you know upload your performances on youtube 
I'm totally convinced that the future of music is very different. I believe that recording careers with labels as we had them 10, 15 years ago will be replaced by online careers. And an online career is the combination of what do I do on my social media channels, what do I do with a label, what may I do in self-publishing, mm -hmm. because technology empowered people to do things mm -hmm. themselves that were in the past done by mm -hmm. gatekeepers. And this is, for young artists, a very interesting perspective. It's hard, you need a lot of work, but look to TikTok, mm -hmm. look, you look to uh, YouTube. You have YouTube stars with millions of subscribers and they did build it themselves. And I'm encouraging young artists to do it and the direction that we are taking with Adagio is to support and help young artists to find their own way in the music world. And that's a very inspiring and I think also very important uh, goal to follow. Well, thank you very much. And so, thanks everybody for following us in China and Korea and Buona Ascolto. Pleasure.